Okay. Um, if you're following the cases along with me, like you're at UW and you're actually in the same courses as me, which I think, I'm guessing like a third of you are based off like, like I can see who subscribes and I can see a few comments and some of you guys have talked to me. Actually, can you guys go in the comments? Anybody? Just, if you're following along from GW, leave stuff in the comments so I know. I don't know, it's helpful. Not to sound like a YouTuber trying to scam a bunch of kids into increasing his algorithm. Uh, you know, I... You know, got to get me that sweet, sweet, non-existent YouTube money. I need like a thousand subscribers to get YouTube money. I don't really want YouTube money. I don't need YouTube money. You know, got to get that lawyer money. So, um, you know, if you're following along with me and you got to Brown Machine versus Hercules like I did and went, okay, I think I get this. I don't think I get this, but I'm going to try and explain it. And uh, so this is the first case that I've gotten to that I have. I'm like, okay, I really would like a professor to fully explain this to me. But good news is... We will get it explained to us. So, Brown Machine versus Hercules. Basically, there's this big negotiation, goes back and forth. But, first principle you need to understand, right? Price quotations are not offers. It's really hard to remember that. If I say my bread is a dollar, that is not an offer. If you come up to me and hand me a dollar, I don't have to give you the bread. But, if you come up to me and hand me a contract that says... I would like 10 bread for $1, and I give you 10 bread, I can't change the price. You have to give me the $10, right? That order is the contract. An order is an, sorry, an order is an offer. And once I've accepted it, once I've performed on it, then it is a contract, right? You have to accept the offer. The order is the offer. It's really hard for me to get, but that's the important part. So now under the UCC, um, a, so a response to a contract that has different terms is an acceptance of the original offer under the UCC, so if it's a UCC contract, unless, one, the accepting party makes it clear that the other party must accept these terms. So if I send you a counteroffer that is very similar, but, you know, say you order my bread, and I say, okay, but you can't sue me if you don't like the taste of my bread. That doesn't materially alter the contract, and it doesn't, doesn't, uh, and I haven't said you expressly have to accept this, you know, so if I say you also, you know, you can't sue me, then I give you the bread. You can still sue me, but if I said you can't sue me, and if you don't agree to that, you can't have the bread, then no, it's not an acceptance, it's a counteroffer. So the material difference there is, right, I have to make it clear that I have not accepted the contract, or that... You know, my acceptance of your offer is conditional on this, right? So when I make a conditional acceptance, I need to be very clear that it's a conditional acceptance. This is important. There's a lot of nuance here because what's essentially happened here is um, they order a machine. The guy says, okay, but you need to sign a liability waiver. You know, and then they fulfill it and the guy's never signed a liability waiver. Liability waiver? It's not there. It doesn't matter. You said they need to sign it. You acted as though the contract was fulfilled and your counteroffer terms were never, or your, your non-counteroffer, because it wasn't actually a counteroffer, were never accepted. So the other final thing about this is, right, um, unless these are material modifications. So, you know, if you send me an offer for 10 bread and I say, okay, but you have to give me 10 extra cents, that is a material modification. Yeah, the, a little complicated. Um, for the love of God, somebody leave some comments down here unrelated to the previous thing about like ask me some questions I, I say this every once in a while the more confused i'm about the case the better it is to get the questions that or uh, schooner's gonna you know yell at me i don't know schooner's doesn't like me <laughs> but um yeah so if you have any questions or you know you've got any fun tricksy questions you want to try and throw my way uh put them in the comments uh hopefully they they do help i've, I've seen a couple of them and they help all right bye gonna upload a bunch of videos now